Welcome back to another episode of Oz Home News. I'm your host, Natasha Prochniewicz, and today I'm in King's home on the northern Gold Coast, visiting the coastal barn Dream, an Insta-famous house drenched in white and designed by Lauren Eloise, a very talented and busy mum of five who's going to show me how she did it. Natasha, Good how morning. are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Come on in. Thank you very Welcome much. Welcome to the Coastal Barn Dream. I love what you've done with the place. Thank you. Yes, no, we're really happy with, I guess, the end result. It's almost white on white everywhere. It is. I really love the brightness and then being able to bring all the warm elements in with all the furniture and the finishes in the home. And I have to ask, how do you keep it so clean? Yes, I get asked this question a lot, especially with five young kids. I mean, it gets dirty. We have children in the house, so it does get dirty, but I've been very mindful of the finishes that I use to be really, you know, clean, easy, friendly with cleaning the um, tables and the floors and the furniture, so it isn't too bad. Growing up on the coast and in the country, Lauren has created a home that combines the two styles together. Taking the shape of a barn, it has a deliberate casual calm throughout with bespoke coastal interiors in every room. We went in the custom barn doors um, just as a different kind of element to the room and we, we kept with the glass inserts because we wanted to be able to keep this front area open and feel spacious. Um, and then we've got the custom concrete table that we had made here. And I guess this was another reason why I went the concrete was because with five kids, we've done the timber tables before, really hard to keep clean and you know non-damage, whereas the concrete becomes just really easy to clean after um, we finish our meals at the table. Down the end is bright and spacious, natural light pouring in through the endless windows. This is a beautiful area as you come in overlooking the pool. Yes, yeah, no, we really love this area, especially when we're able to have a sunny day and keep everything open and it really gives that resort, you know, feel of that indoor outdoor feeling where you can be sitting inside but enjoy the that resort style with the pool outside. And it's almost impossible to avoid this look, the use of straw and rattan, it's very popular at the moment. Yes, and I, and I think that's the reason why I kept everything quite white, because then I was able to bring rattan in. And I think sometimes having too much rattan can be a bit overbearing, but I think with the white surrounding, um, it works really well. Warm but not overbearing brushed brass handles decorate Lauren's stylish kitchen and one of the most exciting features is the open breakfast bar where you can ease your way into the day. This is amazing. Thank you. I think this is this is probably my favourite, especially when you walk in from the front door you and can being see it. able to yep, you get to see everything that's in front of you and it's just that wow factor every single time. It's here the children spend most of their time and where Lauren likes to entertain. The heart of the home is definitely where we are. I mean, the majority of this area is used pretty much on the daily. And you've added a touch of colour in the poolside cabana? Yes, I really love these tiles. I actually sourced and found these tiles quite earlier on in the piece. I felt like bringing a little soft touch of colour out here just breaks up all that white on white with the green grass and everything. What's it like being the main driving force behind this home? I really enjoy it to be honest. Um, my husband's a builder so I worked alongside with him with um, creating this home and I know for him it was probably really stressful but for me I really enjoyed every step of the way and making decisions and you know, being creative and having to come up with solutions with him. We decided to really utilise the block and build obviously lengthways. So it's really made it to be quite a long house, but we really wanted to be able to separate the parents' side from the kids' side. 
um, and then have that meeting ground in the middle. And this is your sanctuary? It is, yes. This is what we call our parents' retreat. Um, I really wanted to feel like at the end of our busyness of each day that um, we had something really nice to come into and just relax and unwind. The cat just makes it a yeah. hundred times better. <laughs> yes, this is kind of his little stomping ground during the day. And it's nice because he blends quite well with all the uh, furnishings, I think. He's photo shoot ready. He, he really is. Which comes as no surprise. Chase is frequently featured by brands who come to film here. I just didn't expect this home to become such a loved home to many other people. I feel like you know, of course I love it, it's something that I created, but to know that so many others do as well does bring that sense of, you know, thinking, oh, we must have done something right. Because you've seen hundreds of people walk through these doors. Yes, we've had a lot of people, especially opening up the doors as a photo shoot location, um, and a lot of people, I love seeing their reaction when they walk in. You know, they walk in and they're literally wowed, and that's a proud moment in itself where you're like, Oh, it's really nice that someone else can really appreciate what uh, we've put into this home. Gosh, even the laundry has received extra attention. And you have the most beautiful picture window here. Yeah, I was very mindful again of keeping all the light in each space of the home and having a beautiful big window in here really achieves that and very mindful of having that palm tree there as I'm looking out folding clothes. There isn't really anything major that I would change. I feel like everything has worked out the way it's meant to. Um, any last minute changes that we decided to do on the home ended up being really great and, and worked out for the better. Also when it came to the finishes that we couldn't get when we needed and having to throw a room together, you know, style and design at very last minute, it all worked out quite beautifully. This bathroom's beautiful, I love the mirror. Yes, this mirror has been, become quite popular. I originally had two arches above the basins um, and last minute I decided I wanted one big massive arch. I feel like I love it that much that if I do this again, I really want to put it somewhere again in the new home. Which will come around sooner than Lauren first thought. things change and that also happens within our own lives and so our plans have changed, we've got different ideas. Her five bedroom home is now on the market but admits saying goodbye to a place full of memories will be very hard. There's definitely yeah a lot of memories we would kind of almost camp out eating here at night and being able to do that with the kids was really special because not only have they been able to enjoy it once it's been finished but being able to be there for the process of the whole build is pretty special as well. Even though all the emotion of selling our forever home is definitely present, I'm excited to kind of get into that creative space again and designing something new. One of the most beautiful things about Lauren's place is that it feels like home, even when you've never spent time in it before. A feeling of warmth and comfort that's an integral part in allowing a young family to grow, be active, and most importantly, be happy. Thanks for watching. For more videos, follow Oz Home News, Australia's most exclusive news source in real estate.